Hey, this is Lego Mission 911 here with another Lego review. This is the Mandalorian Battle Pack, ages 6 to 12, set 7914, and it has 68 pieces. So, my phone's not on. Or actually, it is, so I'll do the math right now. So, it was 11, 99. Divided by 68 equals 18 cents per piece. So, not a great deal, but the Mandalorians, I think, are worth it. Especially with the new blasters and awesome body job. So, this is... You get four of these figures, they're all the same, which I wish they would have had different heads because, of course, they're not clones. So the helmet's the same sculpt as Boba Fett's, and the backpack is the same too. And they should have, I wish they would have added some clone gear so for visors and stuff, but... So the helmets just repainted. The the head's really nice. It's got this menacing look to it, which of course the Mandalorians are. But Death Watch are very menacing. So the body sculpt or the body print is nice. And I'll rip his head off to show you the backpack. It's really nice in gray, and a good, a nice addition is it goes all the way to the neck. Whereas in some backpacks, they hang, they don't all the way to the edge. So no back printing. So and then so the backpacks make them a little taller, but. And then the new mini blasters that come in three winter line sets, which are the Mandalorian Battle Pack, the Clone Battle Pack, and the Bounty Hunter Gunship. And Aura Singh gets those in the Bounty Hunter Gunship. Next, you get the same Mandalorian, but with a different weapon. So it's like a bipod sniper, basically. So looks nice. This piece is nice and black, and you get a blue stud, which is pretty cool. Don't get much of those. And the same figure. So, and the guys on here, the guys in the back, all have these two weapons. One of them has each. So here's the thing which is uh, basically like in the older clone battle pack with episode 3 clones. I'll be right back. I'm gonna get that. So it's basically just a recreation of this. But in Mandalorian colors. So, yeah. My dog actually chewed up the speeder and all the clones in it, so I have this left. But, so, this is, it's pretty nice. Um, this piece is nice too. Never seen it before, so. It's pretty awesome. That just sticks in there. Like that. So, here's the speeder, which is really nice because this is shown in the episode um, of the Battle of Man, or the Mandalore episode in Clone Wars. And I like this piece. It's two of the slanted pieces, but in one piece, so. And it looks really nice. And, um,. 
Well, I had Lego added a clear stud because it would look stupid on people's shelves like that. So, very nice. Good look to it. And the battle or the, the backpack fits nicely in there. So, yeah. It's a good set. I would buy it if. For the figures, I would buy it. Um, it's really good. Um, I wish they would have added more pieces. Maybe instead of this, maybe or make a bigger speeder instead of um all the guys being the same. I like instead of this guy I make previous or the guy from the Clone Wars Death Watch previous law or something. Don't know how to say his name but <coughs> So yeah. The box just has should two battle boxes you get four Mandalorians. So Yeah. If you if you really want it get it, but if you don't skip it it's for the piece count it's a lot but the figures are worth it if you want to buy them off Bricklink or something so if you just want the figures buy them off Bricklink and if you want all of the figures just get the set but it's a good thing so today is Saturday so have a good rest of the weekend and I'll see you guys next time